Oh, that was a good one. Um, yeah, we're ready when you are. Hi, my name's Jade and I'm one of the careers advisors here at Fairham College. So I look after our health and science T-levels as well as our education early years T-levels. With me today I have Chloe who studies one of our education T-levels. So Chloe, tell me a little bit more about the course you're on and the pathway you chose. Okay, so I took um, the T-levels early years in education just because it was such a new option and it provided me with so many new opportunities that I was just really interested about. Everything that I heard about the T-Levels was just a really positive outlook and I just mm. honestly thought it was the best career sort of direction I wanted to steer in, especially considering all of the hours that we do at placement as well. It's really given us on that hands-on experience. Yeah, that's fantastic. So what pathway did you chose? Was it the assisting teaching or the early years educator? Um, the early years. Okay. So you're in your second year, aren't you, studying am, early yes. years? So how much placing have you done so far? 315 hours so far. Oh, um, we do it in blocks, mm -hmm. so we do like four weeks at a time, and then we go in every single day. It's normally around the same time, so we would normally go in from eight until whenever they need us there till, and we just get a lot of experience. And what made you choose to study a T-level at Fairham College? Well, actually, I went to Broom Park Community School mm -hmm. and someone came in and they spoke to oh, us about the yeah. T-levels and it, they just made it seem so amazing and so, yeah. like, less stressful than A-levels because obviously when you're taking several different things at once, it can be very stressful and there's just a lot. So how do you think that this course has sort of prepared you for your future plans and what are you hoping to do sort of once you um, finish with so us? So hopefully after this I'm going to go to university oh, in Chichester brilliant. to get my bachelor's degree in education as well as my brilliant. QTS. Yeah. Um, they've really provided me with all the sort of information that I need and I'm very sure on this. And also hopefully as well when I do my personal statements and everything like that, they'll see that I've got very much hands-on experience and they'll, they'll see that I'm prepared for what I want to achieve. So the two levels given you fantastic opportunities for uni, obviously getting your UCAS points, depending on your grades. Um, but have you considered any other options for your future if you weren't to go to uni? Yes. So obviously, as it gives you the level three, um, when while I was thinking about it, you were still able to go straight into a, um, a nursery setting if you wanted to, or become a nanny or an early years practitioner. Mm -hmm. It just provides you with so many options and you, you, you don't feel so worried that you have to go to uni or that you have to go straight out to get a job because you have all these opportunities and roads that they, it can lead you down so you're not just focused on one set thing. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today about your experience on the second year of the early years T-level. It's been fantastic to hear all about the, everything you've been up to with us and I really hope all goes well for you in the future. Thank you. Is that alright? Yeah, good. Cool. That was really, really good. That was really, really good.